I once heard it said that there are two kinds of Mississippians, those who are leaving and those who are coming back. Well, I've lost count of the times down through the years that I've returned home to Mississippi with the cares of life and the dust of the world all over me. An amazing transformation usually occurs when I surrender myself to God's presence amongst the pines, the magnolias, the ponds, and the song of the mockingbird. During one of those times, I found myself at my grandpa Elry Lee Johnson's old house. And although he'd been gone many years, my uncle had maintained the place as a retreat. I sat down at the dining room table with my guitar and a piece of paper to try and write a song. And the longer I sat there, the more that table meant to me. My grandpa Johnson was a good man, a just man, the first statesman I ever met. He was proud to call himself a Mississippi country farmer. And that table that I was writing this song upon, it had held the bounty that his land yielded for his family throughout the Depression years. Prayers were prayed for neighbors and loved ones during world wars. That table had tears shed upon it when my grandma lost her fight for life. It even survived Hurricane Camille during my grandpa's brief move to the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And now it seemed to welcome me home once again like some old friend. I wrote a song that afternoon titled Far Away. It pertains to coming home after living a fast life. I truly never thought it would ever be heard outside of that room, but it was. I was composing the musical score for a film my buddy Billy Bob Thornton was directing called All the Pretty Horses. And Far Away was chosen as the end title song for that film. As I stood in that studio in California and listened to a 75-piece orchestra play my song, I simply closed my eyes and dreamed of home. I'm Marty Stewart, and that's the story of a song that comes from deep down in the heart and soul of my Mississippi. How did I get so far away? 